Hello kindergartners! So we are going to keep going with Kelso's choices. So we'll get Kelso up here. Okay, there's Kelso. So, so far we have done ignore, which is my favorite one to use at school. Wait and cool off where we're going to take a deep breath or count to 10 or something to calm ourselves down before we go back and talk to somebody who is bothering us. We have make a deal where I make sure that someone gets something they want they and, and I get what I want. So we each get something we want with make a deal. And our last one was please stop, where we're going to say please stop. And most importantly, whenever we are talking to someone, we're trying to solve a small problem, what kind of voice do we need to use? A calm voice. You have to use that calm voice. You can't use a whiny voice. You can't pout. Definitely can't use the angry voice. We need to be practicing using that calm voice when we're solving these problems. Today we're going to do three different ones. So the reason we're doing three is because two of them are kind of the same thing. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is easy for me to explain, but I find that sometimes it's hard for boys and girls and grown-ups to do, and that is apologize. So when we do something that we're not supposed to do, whether it's an accident, which sometimes we, you know, we knock something over, we break something by accident, we didn't know there was a rule that we were breaking, that happens, then we might need to apologize. Or sometimes we do something that we're not supposed to do, and we kind of already know that we're not doing that we're doing something we're not supposed to. Maybe your grown-ups asked you to get ready for bed, and you're not getting ready for bed, and they come back and they say something to you. That's a really good time to apologize. So. That's where we're going to use it. If we've done something we're not supposed to do, whether it was an accident or we kind of knew it, then we need to apologize to the person. So there's two parts to an apology. Well, three really, because the first part is using a calm voice. Remember, got to use a calm voice. And this, the other parts are two, you're going to say, I'm sorry, which I do hear a lot of boys and girls do, which is a great start to an apology, but I want you guys to do a little bit more. So the third part is saying what you're sorry for. So instead of just saying, I'm sorry to somebody, which is good, that's a good start to an apology. And if you're saying, I'm sorry, in a calm voice, that's still really good. But I want you guys to try to do it a little bit better, which is say, I'm sorry for. So for example, if I was talking and making a lot of noise when somebody next to me was trying to do work, or maybe I'm talking and making a lot of noise and somebody by me is trying to watch TV, if you're at home, then I might need to apologize. So if they turn to me and say, Mr. Kramer, trying to do my work, or Mr. Kramer, I'm trying to watch TV. My job now is to apologize. Now, the reason that this can be hard is because people don't really like to apologize. It, it take, it's hard. Usually when someone tells us we did something wrong, Mr. Kramer, you're making a lot of noise. Our first reaction is to say, no, I'm not, or like pretend that's not happening. We get defensive is what it's called, or we don't really want to apologize. But if you can apologize as soon as you realize you did something wrong or you did something to bother someone, it can make a small problem go away before it even starts. So it takes a little bit of bravery, it takes a little bit of courage to admit we did something that we weren't supposed to do, even if it was an accident, and then apologize to the person. And that's why apologies can be hard. So I want you guys to get in the habit, don't wait for an adult to tell you to apologize. I want you to just get in the habit of apologizing as soon as you realize, oh, you know what, I did something to bother somebody. Yeah, I didn't mean to, but I did. Or, oh, you know what, I was supposed to be getting ready for bed, my grown-ups told me to, and I didn't. Uh, now I need to apologize to that grown-up. I'm not going to argue with them about why I don't want to go to bed. I'm not going to argue with somebody about why I was making noise, or that maybe my noise wasn't, shouldn't be bothering because it wasn't that loud. That doesn't help. I'm just going to apologize. So let's pretend I'm in school. Someone says, Mr. Kramer, you're making a lot of noise because I'm making noise. I can apologize. I can use a calm voice. Then I'm going to say, I'm sorry. And I'm going to say what I'm sorry for. So I'm sorry for making so much noise. Or calm voice, I'm sorry that I was bothering you while, while you were trying to do work. So you can see the three parts. Calm voice, I'm sorry what you're sorry for. Same thing if you're at home. If you're at home, and let's go back to the example. Let's say you were supposed to be getting ready for bed, and you didn't. You were still watching TV, you still playing a video game, still playing a board game. Your grown-up comes back and says, oh, I thought I asked you to go to bed. Instead of arguing with them, you say, calm voice, I'm sorry that I didn't get ready for bed on time. Or, calm voice, I'm sorry that I wasn't following the rules. So, pretty easy to do. The words are pretty easy as long as you're using a calm voice. Like I said, it's just hard sometimes to admit that we did something that bothered someone or did something we weren't supposed to. But I want you guys to get in the habit. Don't wait for an adult to ask you to apologize. As soon as you realize you upset somebody, it's not about whether or not you, they should have been upset. 
you can just apologize and make the problem go away. All right, so that's apologize. The other two are pretty much the same thing. One is walk away. And this is like ignore, only you actually get up and just go somewhere else. So I like walk away a lot. You guys know ignore is my favorite one. The thing is with walk away, you can't always use it. If you're in class and someone around you is bugging you, you can't just get up and leave and go someplace else. So you'd have to use ignore there. But you know, if it's playtime, if you're at home and someone is bugging you, instead of arguing with them, you know, maybe you've already said, could you please stop making so much noise and they're not listening, then you can just get up. You don't say anything. You don't go to them, I'm walking away. You just get up and you walk away. And you go somewhere else. So walk away is pretty easy. Just like ignore, you're not gonna say anything. You know, I would never say to somebody, I'm ignoring you, because then I'm not ignoring them because I'm talking to them. You're not gonna say to somebody, I'm walking away. You just, you know what? I don't wanna, I'm not gonna argue with this person. I asked them to please stop, they're not listening. I'm just gonna walk away, I'm gonna go somewhere else. So walk away, very easy. Just make sure you're only using it at an appropriate time. Shouldn't use it in the middle of class. <laughs> Probably shouldn't use it at the dinner table or something like that at home. The other one is go to another game. And this is just like walk away, but the only time you're gonna use it is at, at playtime at school or uh, if you're at home, uh, maybe playing with some brothers or sisters or cousins or friends or you're at the park or something like that. And that's the same thing. If you're playing a game with someone and something's happening or the game's not going well, you're feeling bothered, you think someone's not playing fair, instead of arguing with that person, instead of saying, hey, you're not playing fair or it's supposed to be my turn, and now you're arguing, if it's just not going well, you just get up and you go somewhere else. You go to another game. Now, you can tell the person, you know, okay, I'm just going to go find somewhere else to play, as long as you're using a calm voice. Have to use a calm voice. But you don't have to say anything. If it's playtime at school, if we're playing outside in the playground, and you're playing a game with someone, and, and you feel like they're not playing fair, and you're getting frustrated, you feel yourself getting into that yellow zone, where you're starting to feel frustrated, then you can just get up and walk away. Go to another game. Go play on the swings, go to a different slide, something like that. But you could also just say, you know what, I'm gonna go play over here because I'm feeling frustrated. That's awesome. Teachers would love that. I think grown-ups at home would too. If you just say, you know what, I'm gonna go over here because this is how I'm feeling. So we've got apologize, and you're gonna see a video of Fiona and I demonstrating that. And then you've got walk away, where you just get up, go somewhere else. You don't have to say anything to the person, you can just get up and go. And you've got go to another game where you feel like maybe the person you're playing with isn't playing fair or something is bothering you about it and you find another game, you find someone else to go and play with. So you're gonna see Fiona and I for apologize, you're gonna see Mr. G again, helping me with walk away and go to another game. Okay, boys and girls? So that's gonna give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different ways to solve small problems that you guys should be practicing and getting in the habit of using at school and at home. We've got two more left next week, including the hardest one, which is why I saved it for last. So keep practicing all of them, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. These are so good. It's like such a great snack to have while I'm watching TV. What's wrong, Fiona? Well, I know they're yours, but they're so yummy. I mean, look, I just take a big handful of them. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's all good. Okay, I mean, I guess I did buy these for you and Logan, not just for, for me. So, I'm sorry. You're right, Fiona, that was not using a calm voice. That was, let me try that again. I did buy these for you guys, so I'm, I'm sorry that I'm eating your cat treats. They're just so yummy, but I'll put them away and I will go get some human treats. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks. Ah, this game is so boring. Do we have to play this game? I don't really want to play this game. Oh, one, two, three. Oh. 
Oh, uh, hey, that's not fair. I think you, you're cheating. I, I, you should have to go back a few squares. I think I'm going to let you play this game, and I'm going to go find something else to do. Oh, come on. I mean, just because you're cheating, fine. Hey, what are you guys doing over there? 